in this video I hope to address two issues alright the first one is your function how do you set up the function although it is easy just by the definitions but if you are to put in Arduino the IDE you will need to know something alright the second one is how to use the for loop to flash your LED okay so this is the two things that I think it, I, I think is kind of very useful to be used alright so in order to, to start off, I'll just start off with the definitions of your with stuff. Alright, is that you you will first initialize alright your sorry initialize your whatever name of a function. Alright. So you can put in many parameters, one parameter, second parameter, third parameter, etc. Then the this part then over here is your body and then you can return your your integer value. Alright, the integer value comes from wherever you want it from your body. Okay? So for example, you set your integer your you set your function as add. Alright? And within the add you have this value and you have this value. Okay? And over here take note that you will not have any uh, semicolon. I think it's semicolon I think. Yeah, but anyway, you don't put over here, alright? You just leave it blank. And then after that, over here you open up the, the bracket okay and this this bracket tells you what does the function your add do okay so this thing is your function name with whatever variables you set in while over inside over this thing tells you what does the function do okay I hope that it's pretty clear right now and next you're gonna set your integer all right you're gonna define your answer as number one plus number two all right which is this one plus this one Okay, and then you return your answer that you have just defined. Okay, this is the very simple code. But however, if I were to copy this code and I'm gonna paste it inside my Arduino, alright, which is over here. Okay, this is a brand new sketch. Okay, I haven't I haven't do anything yet. But if such a case happens, when do you paste it? Do you paste it here, or do you paste it here? Alright, and in fact, you do, you do not paste into both of them. You are pasting it after all of them. Okay, I repeat again, you, does, you do not paste it in the loop, or you, do not, you will not paste it in the setup. You paste it after all of them. Okay, so your def when you define a function, you have to paste it after everything, at the back of your, at the back of your um, system. Okay? Therefore, if you don't believe me, I can just test it out, alright? I'll just paste it over here, within the void setup. Alright, so I'll just verify. Okay, I'll just type in some names. I'll just type it as test. And save it. Alright. And see, that is a problem already. Okay? And there will be a lot of problem telling you what this thing, blah 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 blah, what token thing. Okay? So what I can do, instead of doing that, I'll just ignore them. I'll just copy this thing. I'll paste it over here if you don't believe that it's in the void loop. Alright, so I'll just paste it over here. You see, that's the problem again. Okay? So never mind. I'll paste it behind. If you just take a take a look if I verify. You see? Everything is fine. You see? So therefore, when you paste your function, please paste it after your void loop and after your back setup and a void loop. Okay, such that everything should be fine. You see, it's uploading already. Okay? And the next thing you may wonder, Okay, so after I have this thing, how do I compute the answer? Do I open up my serial monitor and type in my function? Alright, great. I have no serial monitor, is it? Okay, never mind. Without serial monitor, I'll just open up. Okay? Now I have this thing serial monitor. Alright, you see, there's, no, there's nothing. If I were to type in my function, Alright, uh, my function name is what? Uh, at if I type 3, 5, what do I have? Nothing. It feedbacks, nothing. So where, where do I input my numbers so that I can play with the functions? Ta -da, that's the good question, right? So I will put it in my void setup. Okay? And my void setup, I'll just put it as um, at 5, 3. Okay? And I, and I upload to the, to the system. Okay, so you'll just take a thumb down or hold and around. Okay, so now finish uploading already. I go zero monitor. There's nothing also. And then there's problem, right? So you don't know what to do. If you were to take zero print line, I put it this. Okay, then got error again. 
and it says answer was not declared in your this code okay so over here you had they didn't declare anything within this and over here I declare already ma then what what the hell is going on all right and therefore you need to do is that you need to write answer is whether I forget already wait a while to initial you need to initialize answer which is whatever thing that you want to to find out as equals to zero okay so if I were to upload this thing okay got problem okay the problem is I didn't put a semicolon hopefully we should be fine yeah you see it's uploading now so let's wait a while okay so now if I were to look at the serial monitor good job nothing and you can't see any answer also so you see there's many problem all along which I've been facing Ta -da. all right and therefore what they do is that you change you put this serial dot print line over here okay I the, on the return answer I just put it over here okay with the semicolon I remove this one okay this thing I just leave it the same you just set as initial answer is equal to zero and then add is this one okay so over here instead of integer I write it as void all right so void over here you don't have any return all right now that's now when you see just now we have a return over here right so if you have integer which is uh, over here or if it's integer then you can put return however if I were to put void all right then return cannot be used the, there will be error all right so therefore we will just put it as zero dot print line because the void tells you that you no need to return anything the void meaning is that you know the the system doesn't return anything at all so if you want to return something you go on server and type in the answer so how the codes run now okay this this time round should be correct okay in fact it's not correct yet all right we need to put in serial dot begin all right you need to input the bow rate so that the arduino can calculate for you okay so you need to input this serial dot begin 9600 so that the arduino can calculate the number ar the arithmetic for you so the full code you see from the ppt slide is only like this very pretty much very simple all right and then at the end when you come to the arduino itself you see we got so many things to add in okay so there's something that you need to really consider when you when you attempt to do whatever thing that you want to do and therefore if you wonder if i were to put in this and then i run it what would be the outcome so let's look at the serial monitor you see it takes a while to load okay so if i were to reset i press my arduino okay yeah you see it takes a while to actually load so if i were to re-on re my serial monitor for example if i were to you see it, it takes time to lag so the, the lagging actually allows the arduino to read a function so input your function and it goes through this thing see whether are there any function that are available and yes there is a function then you evaluate the function and give you the answer so this this point is where you print the line okay so the speed of how you calculate is, is somewhat i think dependent on your zero dot begin where the the 9600 is the speed that they transfer the wire uh, i mean the transfer the whatever whatever information from my computer wire to your Arduino or the speed of your Arduino or things like that I don't know but so the serial if without the serial dot begin we can't have anything all right if for example if I were to upload this thing okay hold on a moment okay I've uploaded so I'll go to serial monitor you see there's nothing because my Arduino cannot calculate anything there's no speed available so these are the little things for for you to take note of when you do the the thing so just just take note of this codes all right so the key thing is that when you want to put in your 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 thing inside Arduino to print or whatever, you need to write this this code. All right, the void, all right, takes in no return. All right, from over here, they say that integer, and then after that in the end it returns. All right, over here it can, but however you can't see your answer because this code doesn't help you to see your answer. It's just a function. That's all. Very simple function without anything to help you print line or whatever. So if you want to see the answer, you need to print line and you need to do uh, a little few sort of arrangement in order to see whatever thing that you want to code, okay? And then over here, you need to pre-set up your stuff. You need to set up your answer as equals to zero first, and then you'll set up your functions and things like that. And it will eventually, um, you know, calculate itself for you. Okay, so lastly, before I go, okay, this is a new, new sheet of paper, okay? 
I'll just paste the for loop. Alright, you, you, you take a look. These things are all the preset one. I'll paste my for loop over here at this side. Okay? Wait, I rearrange that whole one. About. Okay. So if I were to paste this thing now, this is nice, nice already. You see your for loop, alright, is this thing. This this thing over here is that you define your function, alright, you define your function as flash, alright, and this is the duration where you want to flash, while well, how many times it repeats per, yeah. Repeat again, this thing over here tells you the duration of one of the flash, alright, this thing over here tells you how many times it repeats. And therefore how it works is that for... If you still remember, maybe I should, um, you give me a while, I, I open up these things for you. Uh, so the for loop, how it works for the flash, it, so in indicating your, your LED to flash, the integer, you said it, this is your initial condition, if you still remember. While this thing over here is the con, uh, the, the objective, so to speak. Alright, while over here, this one is the bridge, if you still remember. So this is from the previous video lah. So this is your initial condition where you set i is equals to zero, and when your i is lesser than your repeat, all right, meaning this repeat. So if happen that you repeat less than what you set over here, okay, then you carry on to plus one, okay. This i plus plus tells you that is i is equals to i plus one, okay. So initially this thing i is equals to zero. So this is 0 plus 1, which is equals to 1. And then after that, it reads if your i over here is smaller than what you set over as your repeat, then you you loop, okay? So instead of 0, now it becomes 1. So 1 plus 1 is equals to 2. And then you check again the condition, all right? Haven't, haven't meet, and then you go on again. So this 2 will become over here. So it's 2 plus 1 is equals to 3, all right? So this i plus plus is to plus this, is to do this, this arithmetic. Alright, and so up to a certain point where your this i over here is equals to your repeat, then the whole the whole for loop will deny and stop. Alright, so you're not flash anymore. Okay, I hope you kind of get what I mean. And the digital right, this one over here, I think you know. This one is you you how do I say ah? You on your LED, and then after that you off your LED. Okay, so you on your LED for whatever duration that you want, and then you off it for whatever duration you want. Alright, so it's like a on, and then off, on, off. So this thing over here is one blink, one flash. So you flash one time. This thing over here is you flash the second times, which is uh, this one. And then if you have a third time, which is the third time, you flash three times, right? And if your three times is equals to what you have set initially, your if you want your so this is your function. So if you type in your function with this duration and this repeat, alright. So if your repeat reaches, uh, so if you set your repeat as three, so if this thing reach reaches three, it'll it'll stop the whole for loop will stop, and you'll not flash anymore. Okay, something like that. Alright, I should be sorry if this is four lah. Okay so to speak, because 3, 3 is lesser than 4, right? This is i, so if i is equal to 3, it's lesser than 4, alright? So if the next loop, it comes in, becomes 3 plus 1 equals to 4, it will not, it, will, it tells the system, don't repeat anymore, alright? Because you have, you are smaller than what you have one, okay? I hope that you kind of get what I mean. Because over here, you flash one time, over here you flash the second time, over here you flash the third time, over here you flash the fourth time. So at this particular point, if you were to flash again, this is flash the fifth time, which is not right because you set it as four. I think you get what I mean? So because initially your i is equal to zero. So this is why over here is all is is the overall is four times. You get what I mean? So when you write a code you need to know how to write the thing such that it doesn't uh do the things that you you don't want it to do, alright? So you need to know how, how the code works so that when you program it, it will be easier for you to... Because this is 4 and this is 3, a bit contradicting, right? But however, your i starts from 0. Alright, your i starts from 0 actually. And in fact, you should take a look if... I should say that if i is equal to 0 over here. Sorry, if i is equal to 0, then you flash one time. Then if i is equal to 1, then you flash a second time. 
I think this will be a better explanation. So overall, this is four times. So please take note, take note, take note, take note. Okay. Although my explanation sucks, lah, I know, lah, but at least you you get something out of it. So just think about it, lah. Okay. And I will see you soon. Uh, yeah.